And there you go. AI just reduced my tech debt. Hello, my name is Andre. I'm an engineer on our SDK team. And today I'm going to talk about Stats MCP server, how to set it up, and also how to use it in your AI tooling workflow. If you don't know what it is, the Statsig MCP server brings Statsig's feature gates, experiments, and analysis directly into your AI tooling stack. Let me show you how it works. So we're using a coffee shop e-commerce for today's example. And so we're going to start by setting up the MCP. To do that, navigate to our docs and find one, the guide that's relevant to your platform. I'm going to be using cursor and I'll do the quick install. And there you go. I just set up the stats of MCP on cursor. And now that, that I have it set up, let's talk about what you can do with this. So we have a guide that goes through a few examples like cleaning up stale gates, summarizing feature gate and experiment statuses, and brainstorming experiment ideas using existing context, uh, and many more. For today, uh, I'm going to do one that's similar to that first one, which is to clean up a launched feature gate. So I'm going to paste this prompt here, which tells the LM to find the feature gates that have already launched um, so that they can refactor them out of the code. And there you go. Now that the AI is done, I can accept the changes and we can move on to the second example. And I know that we have a second feature gate in here. And for the second example, I'm going simply to ask, what's the status of this feature gate? And so instead of having to switch context to the browser, opening up Statsig and find the feature gate to see its status, I can simply ask the AI and it's gonna use the MCP to bring that data to me while I'm still using my ID. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what's possible with the Statsig MCP server. AI helps you ship faster. Statsig helps you ship safer. Integrate Statsig into your AI coding workflow today. Visit statsig.com MCP or check out our docs to get started. Thank you.